All right, in this video, I am going to show you a couple of helpful little tricks in Fusion um, that will that will help you out with certain types of models. Um, what I'm specifically looking at is how to create your own construction geometry. Uh, we've seen in the sketch environment how to create construction lines in 2D sketches, which are very useful. But in the 3D modeling environment, it is sometimes helpful to create your own custom work planes, axes, or work points uh, so that you can construct tricky shapes that, that don't fit so easily into our nice rectangle grid. So um, when you create a sketch, you're, you see the three orange origin work planes, and you see the green, blue, and red origin axes, which are always there for you to reference. Um, when you look in the browser of a particular design file, you're going to find an origin folder. And the origin folder has the origin work point three origin axes, and three origin planes that you can always open up and reference and sketch on and, and things like that. But from time to time, you need something more than that. So um, for this example, I will just get some geometry in here. So here I have my little simple cylinder with the top corner sort of lopped off. Um, if I needed to create a work plane at a special angle, not one of my original origin angles that are all 90 degrees from one another, but a, but a specific special angle, uh, one of my options for creating a work plane is to create a plane at an angle. And when we hover over these choices here under the construction geometry menu, it will explain a little bit what that tool does. So um, this one is telling us it creates a construction plane through any edge, axis, or line at a specified angle. So if I click that tool, it's going to want me to specify a line or an edge. And I could choose my origin axes for my line if I wanted, or I can choose any straight line from my solid. And once I choose that, uh, it prompts me to enter an angle. So I can either drag to establish my angle, or I can type it and it will give me a work plane at the specified angle. And now I have a new place that I can sketch that's different from what we saw uh, from our origin work planes. To give you another look at a type of work plane that we can create, I'll show you how we can create a mid plane between two uh, parallel planes. So if I select mid plane here, uh, it's going to want me to choose any two flat parallel planes on my drawing. And if I choose two parallel planes, it creates a new work plane for me that's right in the middle of those two. So that is also sometimes useful for uh, certain specific operations. Another option here is if I have nothing but curved surfaces to work with and I need to create a plane that's tangent to one of those curved surfaces, I can select my curved surface and then I can select a point along that surface, which I just created in this sketch using a line. And it's going to make me a work plane that is tangent to that curve. So it comes up and touches it exactly and it happens to go directly through that point that I established. So you can define your own point and you can select your curve and it gives you a nice new place to sketch. It's important to note that when you make new construction geometry, you're going to see a new folder pop up in here in the browser called construction. And all your construction geometry for the component that you're working on can be found here under that folder. So if I expand that, I'm going to see each of the custom work planes that I've made up until this point. And right now, after making a sketch and doing a 3D operation off of those work planes, they become invisible. But if you wanted to um, reactivate those to use them again or just be able to see them, you can click the little eyeball next to them and you can make visible any of your construction geometry that you want to be able to reference. The last plane I'm going to show you, which is probably the one that you're going to use the most often, is simply an offset plane. And when you click offset plane, it asks you to select any flat surface on your drawing or any existing work plane. And once you do that, 
you specify a distance to offset your work plane. So um, you can create a new plane that's parallel to any other plane. And that is often helpful for if we want to do things like, for example, use the loft tool and we need to have two parallel sketch profiles on parallel planes that we can use to generate a loft. Of course, there's lots and lots of other applications for an offset work plane. This is just one off the top of my head. But I'm not going to show you each and every work plane and um, axis that you can create. There's there's a whole bunch of options here. I want you to just be aware of uh, what they are. And if you think that you might need one of them, just hover over it with your mouse and it'll show you a little description of how that tool works. And that may help you make some planes when you need them for special jobs.